Once upon a time, a very long time ago, now about last Friday, Winnie the Pooh lived in a forest all by himself. One day when he was out walking, he came to an open place in the middle of the forest. And in the middle of this place, was a large oak tree and from the top of the tree there came a loud buzzing noise. That buzzing noise means something, thought Winnie the Pooh. Somebody's making a buzzing noise and the only reason for making that buzzing noise that I know of is because you're a bee. Then he thought some more and said, and the only reason for being a bee that I know of is making honey. And then he got up and said, and the only reason for making honey is so I can eat it. So Pooh began to climb the tree. He climbed and he climbed and he climbed. And as he climbed, he sang a little song to himself. Isn't it funny how a bear likes honey? Buzz, buzz, buzz. I wonder why he does. Then he climbed a little further and just a little further and so he thought of another song. It's a very funny thought that if bears were bees they'd build their nests at the bottom of trees. And that being so if the bees were bears, we shouldn't have to climb up all these stairs. But bees aren't bears. The bees were buzzing high, high up in the tree. So up climbed Pooh. But what if he falls? What if? What if they sting him? Let's find out if Pooh is okay. Just one more branch. Crack! Help! Pooh fell and landed on a prickly bush. I should see Christopher Robin, he decided, brushing prickles from his nose. Perhaps you have a balloon? He asked when Christopher Robin opened his door for him. What for? said Christopher Robin. And Pooh whispered, For honey. Christopher Robin wasn't sure why any balloon would have anything to do with honey. But since he had a blue balloon and a green balloon, he asked, Which one? The trick is not to let the bees know you are coming, said Pooh. I will take the blue one and pretend to be part of the sky. But wouldn't they notice you underneath the balloon? asked Christopher Robin. Perhaps they'll think I am a small rain cloud, said Pooh. You never can tell with bees. On the way back to the tree, Pooh rolled in mud so as to look like a dark rain cloud. They blew up the balloon as big as can be. Pooh held on tight and floated up, up to the treetop. 
Now he could see and smell the honey. But he couldn't reach the honey. What do I look like? Asked Pooh from above. A bear holding on to a balloon, said Christopher Robin. Not a small, dark, black cloud? Not really. Well, as I say, you never can tell with bees, said Pooh hopefully. The bees were buzzing. I think the bees are suspicious, whispered Pooh loudly. And what do you think the bees will think? Why, they believe Pooh as a dark rain cloud hovering around their hive? Or will they think it is a very small bear who loves honey? Let's find out. Suspicious, said Christopher Robin. Yes, I think the bees suspect something, agreed Pooh. They think that you're not a cloud, asked Christopher. So Christopher Robin wondered aloud if it would rain. While Winnie the Pooh sang, How sweet to be a cloud floating in the blue. Every little cloud always sings aloud. How sweet to be a cloud floating in the blue. It makes him very proud. One bee sat down on a cloud's nose for a moment and flew off again. Oh, said the clown, they are still suspicious. I think they are the wrong bees, which means they make the wrong honey. I should come down now. But how? asked Christopher Robin. That's right. If Pooh let go of the string, he would fall. Bump! You must pop the balloon with your slingshot, he said. Christopher Robin aimed very carefully. A little regretful for his nice blue balloon. Ow! said Pooh. Did I miss? asked Christopher. You didn't exactly miss, said Pooh. But you missed a balloon. I'm sorry, Christopher Robin tried again. This time, he hit the balloon. The air came out slowly, and Winnie the Pooh floated down. His hands were so stiff from holding on to the balloon that they were stuck up in the air for a week. So, whenever a fly came and settled on P Pooh's nose, all he could do was blow it off. And I think, but I am not sure, that that is why he was called Pooh.